I really need to get a new light. Hey, hello Matt, it is April the 7th, uh, it's a Thursday and it's a movie review day, and you are asking where's my punishment, well, I have done it, um, but I'm not going to put it in this vlog, uh, because there's actually quite a lot of footage I've got from it, so I'm going to do it in a separate vlog tomorrow. My hair is still a bit, um, I don't even know the word, stringy, no, not even stringy, it's just, uh, feels like straw, that's what it feels like, so... Yeah, uh, not, I'm not going to show you any footage now, but you're going to have to just be patient for when I get out. But promise me, I have done it. Um, I messaged you on Facebook today, anyway. Um, also, another thing I want to say is the Mohawk isn't very good, uh, but it's the best I could do. But yeah, the Easter holidays are coming to an end, and I honestly um, don't really mind, because um, I've been doing nothing, really. I went to Windsor on um, Tuesday... Yes, it was Tuesday I went to Windsor, and yeah, it was nice, but I didn't get any footage, because that's me. Um, I don't really get any footage, uh, but yeah, it was alright. Um, just seeing changes of the guards and everything, um, and yeah. Um, and that's about it, really. That's all I've done this week and half time. I have got the Outer Rim DLC uh, for Battlefront, so... Um, you might see a bit of footage of that tomorrow, but, um, or not tomorrow, when I do my next vlog, which is, um, uh, Tuesday, um, yeah, you're going to see some Battlefront gameplay then. Um, actually, uh, no, nah, I've probably got a bit too much show when I have to do my movie. Okay, right, you know, I'll, I'll just show my gameplay tonight, you know, I haven't really about Aaron gameplay, but I've got the Aaron DLC and I've been playing that recently, and let me just say, Nia Numb is overpowered as hell, I freaking love him, I hate the choice they made, like, why didn't they have a Chewbacca or, um, Ben Kenobi or Yoda or Lando, uh, but honestly, I don't care, um, because Nia Numb is amazing in the game. So without further ado, here's my Battlefront gameplay that I got for this week. Uh, because I've got nothing else really to do in the vlog, so here it is. Okay, right, look at this pulse cannon shot, and look at this ragdoll. I was attempting to shoot him, he came across, and then boom, look at that, <laughs> look how far he went. Okay, right, Leia's the only one, I've got 14 health, and I'm going to push her back through the door. Force push. <laughs> Right, this is a cheap shot. I'm on the run from Boba Fett, and I hide behind here, just waiting for him. And then here he comes. That was a cheap shot, man. Okay, right, we are on supremacy for once. I've got five health with Luke, and look at this immense, like, four-piece. Wait, wait for them to come in. I just see them out there. I've run out. And then boom, four piece instantly. Right, this is one of the best shots I think I've ever done. Look, boom. Okay, right, I'm the end dumb. All right, and this is the start of the match. Basically, Darth Vader is the end dumb's nemesis. I just see him there, and then look at what he does. I go into this as kind of a trap, and then he jumps off. But wait, there's more. Literally, that two seconds later. Look at what the Emperor does. <laughs> he jumps off as well. <laughs> two seconds later. <laughs> no effort required. I carry out two weird moments here. The Emperor, God knows why. And Han Solo zips across the battlefield. And look, his hair goes grey as well. <laughs> Randomly, his hair goes grey. It's gone normal again, but for some reason it's grey for a second. Right, listen to what Darth Vader says, you can tell what's wrong. There's a droid here. <laughs> Sorry, it's just weird how he says to a droid, you are a fool to come here. I know, it's developing into kind of a weekly thing, I'd show my Battlefront gameplay. <laughs> um, I know, it's uh, a little bit... Um, Repetitive, but please tell me if you don't really like it uh, because I don't have to show it. But I want to show it because I want to have a memory of all the clips I've got before my footage on my Xbox runs out. 
um, because I'm not going to save every clip, but it's always going to be on YouTube, so I can just watch it whenever I want and remember the memories in about a year time when I don't play Battlefront anymore. Probably a bit longer than that, but you know what I mean. Alright, so it's review time, and um, I said last week the review next week is going to be of Blues Brothers, so here it is, Blues Brothers review. Alright, so Blues Brothers is a 1980 comedy, the same as Airplane. It's about um, two. It's about um, Jake Blue, John Belushi's uh, character um, getting out of prison, and uh, um, his brother um, Elwood, played by Dan Aykroyd, uh, needing to get the money to um, save their childhood orphanage from uh, being sold off and rebuild or demolish or something and they figure the best way to do that is starting up a band or reforming a band and playing gigs so they can get money. It's really not a lot to the story but um, it's really more about the laughs um, and well to us all the characters then meet as well. There are so many characters and so many laughs like I don't even know where to start. I suppose the characters are all brilliant. Um, they um, they have all like the big musicians of the time, like they have James Brown, John Lee Hooker, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin. Like all four of them are in this movie, and I'm like, wow, I only know from music, I didn't know they could act, but they actually are really good in the movie. Like Ray Charles has a singer, he shoots, a, like he like fires a gun. <laughs> a kid is singing a, a guitar, doesn't shoot it, but he like fires it. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, they all. Um, I was surprised it was that good in the movie, and all the other characters do great. Um, I especially love the chemistry between um, Jake and Elwood, um, the two main characters. Like they brothers from a very young age, know each other brilliant. That's the strongest part of the movie, their chemistry. Uh, probably the best on screen chemistry, like in a lot of movies I've seen. For for it being a comedy though, the laughs aren't really that frequent. They do give time for the characters to breathe and. Uh, they're not as many funny moments as there are in other movies like Monty Python, Holy Grail and Dare Play. There aren't as many laughs. Um, I'd say when they're there, the laughs are great, but there's not too many of them, especially at the start of the movie. I mean, there are a few funny scenes near the start, like they live next to a train station when all the trains are going by, and that's pretty funny when they're trying to sleep and all the trains are going by. And then when they play their first gig and there's um, country folk who don't like the songs they're playing, they're throwing drinks at them. Um, and they're still for a drink, so yeah, that's funny. Um, and then the climax is also amazing. There's a fly my room. Um, yeah, that's fly my room. <laughs> the climax of the amazing is also very funny. Um, where did that come in from? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, but the laughs aren't really that frequent. Uh, I'd like to a bit more. The story is very focused though, and when the story laughs aren't there, the story is there. So it is incredibly focused movie. Uh, but at times um, it can get a little bit melodramatic, like they do give up quite a few times and um, a couple of the music numbers, because there are a few music numbers, they do go on quite long. I thought the Aretha Franklin song did go on for a bit too long without many funny moments and the James Brown one near the beginning. Um, but it did give you one of my, like, my favourite parts to be, which is Can You See The Light and Belushi just doing backflips. Uh, but yeah, overall, when the last are there, they are very good, but um, it does get a little bit melodramatic and boring at points. And obviously, I would like that kind of music, and I like the music in the movie, like, it's all very, well, blues. <laughs> and that's very laid back and everything. It doesn't really fit the tone of the movie, but the blues are, like, it does fit strangely with what it is. Um, and I also like how in the movie that literally um, Elwood and Jake make everyone hate them. Literally everyone hates them. There's um, the police officers they um, disrupt at the start of the movie. Illinois Nazis, um, who they um, interrupt one of their propagandas. Uh, there's uh, Jake's former wife, played by Princess Leia herself, Carrie Fisher, who actually has got one of my favourite um, jokes, inside jokes in the movie. Like I don't know if it was meant for, them to have worse shot, meant for her to have worse shot than a Stormtrooper, but... Um, it was really funny, and um, and the bands they um, stop from playing. Like, I love how they got everyone against them, um, and that leads to yeah again the amazing climax, uh, which is the best part of the movie. I think the end of it is amazing. Um, 
So yeah, overall, I think that I only have very one complaint in my movie, and their laughs, laughs aren't really that frequent. There could have been a lot more, but when they're there, they're great. So I would say it's a very, 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 very good movie. Right, that's it for the vlog. My punishment is coming soon, Matt, so be patient, and I'll see you uh, on Saturday.